Hello Animal Crossing friends. This is Mika with another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. For this video today, I'm just gonna kind of take you through my typical routine whenever I hop on to play Animal Crossing. Um, like a lot of players, I log on and hang out with my villagers and do my dailies, but um, I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of just my typical playthrough scenarios that I do whenever I log on to play every day. Um, as I've mentioned before, I have a lot of flowers all over my island, um, and I love flower gardens. And on this particular day, one of the first things I wanted to do was finish up a flower kind of garden that I was doing for some of my Lily of the Valley plants. Um, you get a Lily of the Valley once your um, island reaches a five star rating, which was really, really cool. Uh, you don't kind of get any kind of warning when you've uh, reached a five star. You're just kind of casually walking around playing on your island and poof, you come across a Lily of the Valley. Um, and then that's just kind of your way of knowing hey your islands reached five stars of course you can always check in with isabel as well uh regularly and she'll let you know what your status is but in this instance on this particular day i wanted to set up another little small um just a small garden for some of my lily of the valley plants and what i did is i took some of the dark dirt path and I just laid down just a few squares, not very many. I wasn't planning or trying to make a, you know, huge expensive garden. So I just laid down just a few squares. And then once I had the squares of the dark dirt path laid down, I found a really pretty um, kind of border trim uh, on the Pro Design key well not a pro design on the custom design uh when you go to the kiosk on the able sisters um you may have seen uh this kind of grassy flowery pattern on uh, some other areas on my island i really really like it um i didn't get to use all of the different pieces um haven't had a chance to use those yet but i thought that that little kind of baby grass flowery kind of pattern would look really really nice as a small border uh, for my little um, little tiny flower garden that I was doing here for my lily of the valley plant so dark dirt path down border down and then it was just a matter of planting the flowers in and I thought it looked really really nice and then I've got like one in the upper right and one on the lower left so i was pretty happy with that um next night um i didn't get on until late in the evenings um and you know as you play through your um, game every day you know you're going to be visited by a special character uh, on this particular night i was visited by cj and cj is always up for giving you a, a c sports challenge um, I don't normally fish, but I figured for the sake of uh, the video and just kind of wanting to have something to share with you guys, I figured I'd take um, CJ up on his sea sport challenge this particular evening. Um, I do fish, I just don't fish very often. Um, there are some parts of my aquarium of, in my museum that... Uh, need to be built out so I do have some more fish I need to get to kind of finish my museum so uh, fishing rod in hand I headed to the beach and lo I run into Buzz and he wants to move I was not ready for this um, Buzz is one of my favorite characters. He is a cranky villager, and I have a very special place in my heart for cranky villagers. And I just, I couldn't let Buzz leave. My island would not be the same without him. So um, after I asked Buzz to please stay, I kind of uh, went on searching for my next fish 
in my C Sports Challenge for CJ. Um, it wasn't long until I came across my first fish. And of course, it is not a fish at all. It was a shark. A hammerhead shark. It still counts though. Um, came a little bit further down on the beach. I finally found some nice things for my little rocky uh, area here on uh, on my beach. I've got a Stonehenge and an Easter Island head, so that kind of makes this part look not so empty. Um, and I put down some uh, custom flower path uh, designs here as well to kind of dress that up a little bit more. Next fish was the dreaded sea bass. I've been catching a lot of sea bass. That's probably why I don't fish that much. Last fish was a red snapper. So three big fish caught, three big fish in hand. It was off to see CJ. Fishinista. <laughs> I like that word. He's taking all these pictures like he's a member of the paparazzi. That's too funny. All right, so next day it was raining. Um, I had a very, very special thing I wanted to do on this particular day. Um, I don't normally like to play uh, Animal Crossing when it's raining on my island, but I, had a, I was on a mission today, so I had something special I needed to do. Um, I was on my way to the airport when I noticed that there was a lost item on the ground. Um, I usually try to make sure I get these back to their rightful villager owner as soon as possible. If I don't, I'll forget and it'll stay in my pocket until the next day. And then I've, you know, totally missed the opportunity to get it back to who it belongs to. So I usually try to take care of these as soon as I find them. Um, got a little help from Sherb here, who's going to help me figure out who it belongs to fairly quickly. And fortunately for me, Margie was close by, so I was able to get it back to her quickly and rush off to the airport. Now sometimes when you return these lost items, you get some pretty weird funky gifts back from your villagers, but Margie actually gave me a pretty nice shirt dress. Uh, I liked it. I, 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 one of the few clothing items that I've gotten from my villagers that I've kept. Most of the time I'm getting like weird things like hot dog outfits and sushi outfits. Like, no, I don't want to walk around dressed up like food. So, um, back to my, uh, mission that I was on that day. So I went off to the airport and I flew down to Serenity and Serenity, of course, is my southern hemisphere island and the reason why my northern hemisphere character was flying down to my southern hemisphere island is i wanted to celebrate anka's birthday and you know me i love celebrating villager birthdays so whenever she pops over she always makes it a point to try to talk to the villagers here um i do love audie to death so <laughs> can't miss uh, chatting up with, with Audie just for a few moments and Raymond as well. So gift in hand, I went into Anka's to give her her gift and celebrate her birthday. I absolutely love this uh, cute little dance and Tia is celebrating with her right now. I think it was probably since the villagers celebrating with her in shifts, it was most likely someone else later on in the day. But this was the only time I dropped in to the birthday party. I always check using my Animal Crossing guide app that I keep on my phone. Uh, I always check the villager profiles inside of the app to give me a good idea of what kind of gift to give my villagers um, I'm sure you could just probably give them just anything but I make an effort to try to get them something that I know that they're gonna like and I know that in this case I know it's something that she's gonna want to wear so I put a little effort into my villager gifts and I know she was pretty happy with that 
So once I was done with the party, it was back to the airport and back to Riverdale. Rainy, rainy Riverdale. And uh, umbrella in hand. <laughs> and I'll just finish out my day back at home. That next night, I uh, went roaming around, kind of checked the plaza, checked the beach, um, trying to see who was my villager or my NPC character that was visiting. Um, couldn't find them initially, but I did run into Marshall, and I love little conversations that I have with Marshall when I'm out roaming around. But, um... This particular night I was hunting pretty long and hard for who was visiting and um, I finally ran across who my NPC visitors were. Um, first up was Flick. Normally I try to have uh, three bugs on hand so that I can get Flick to create a model for me but I didn't this time around. As soon as I finished talking to Flick, I ran right into Wisp. And of course, whenever you uh, run across Wisp, you scare him and his spirit pieces fly everywhere. So once you've done that, then you're on a quest to help Wisp get all of the pieces of his spirit back. <laughs> Normally, I don't like roaming around with a net out at night. Um, during tarantula season, I don't want to get bit by a tarantula. And on my northern hemisphere island, it's scorpion season. And I wouldn't want to get bit by a scorpion. But for wisp, I'll make this exception. So I'm out at night, net in hand, looking for spirit pieces. Now sometimes this can be easy. And sometimes you can search and search and search and search and search and hardly find anything like this particular piece right here i would not have known it was floating behind that bamboo tree if it didn't just peek out there for just a quick second but it was i would have ran right past it if i hadn't been looking carefully so while i was looking for the rest of the spirit pieces i ran across marcy mom marcy and little marcy are settling in fine on riverdale but she had a problem that she needed help solving. Um, I noticed I've been doing the whole, can you help me make up with this other villager? We had a fight thing for my villagers a lot lately. Um, I can't imagine my villagers fighting. They all seem like they get along very well, but every now and then I'll have one of these quests to do for my villagers to help them make up with another villager that they've had a fight with. In this case, it was Marcy and B. Um, B is another one of my favorite villagers. She reminds me of someone that I know in real life. So B is probably gonna be another one of those villagers that I am not going to want to get rid of or let go if she ever asked to leave. So I gave her this gift and the funny thing is, as soon as she opens it and she sees what it is, she's real happy with it. Mariachi clothing. So she asked me to turn around, but then she didn't give me time to turn around. She just changes right in front of me. I thought that was funny. And of course she looks adorable. So it's nice to see that those two can patch things back up. Not sure when she started calling me Burrito, but um, a lot of my villagers have food names for me. I don't know if that means that they're hungry, <laughs> but I find it kind of funny that my villagers all have food names <laughs> for me. So. Once I was done at B's, I headed out and found the next spirit piece. Nabbed that one with my net and then it was off to kind of let Marcy know that everything's okay with her and B now. And she's happy too. 
Now looking for that last piece took me a while, but I finally found it kind of hanging out in my big, big flower garden. Um, I'm gonna have to capture some more video footage so you guys can see what the island looks like now. The fall update came out and I have gone pumpkin patch, pumpkin decoration crazy. So the island looks very, very different now. So I'm gonna have to buckle down and uh, get some more footage recorded so you guys can see what Riverdale looks like all decked out and ready for Halloween. And Wisp is back together. Now, normally, whenever I do these things, this, this, this quest for Wisp, I get some pretty crappy furniture <laughs> or pretty crappy flooring. But this time around, he gave me uh, something pretty nice. Um, I'll have to show it to you later on. This next night, again, it was raining. Don't normally like playing in the rain, but, you know, umbrella in hand. I'm going to head out, check the plaza, check the beaches, and see who's there. Nobody at the plaza, nobody on the beach. So I check my secret beach, and lo and behold, there is red. Now, I always love buying uh, red buying art <laughs> I love buying art from red but um I don't want to get you know swindled by buying a fake piece of art unless I know it's fake and willing to buy it anyway I have done that um the statue in front of my museum is actually a fake I didn't even bother taking it to blathers I wanted it for the front section of my museum so I bought that one I like that statue knowing good and well that it was a fake um, I always have a Animal Crossing wiki site that I kind of use to help me figure out what is real and what is fake with uh, Red's art. I know some people might not think that that's fair or cheating or anything, but some of these pieces are pretty tricky, like this one. If you don't know just how much water is supposed to be coming out of that picture, you could very easily find yourself with the fake version of that painting. This one as well, the, the difference between the real and the fake version of this painting is very, very subtle. You gotta look carefully at the guy that's kind of standing in the background in the doorway and the position of his arm. Um, that's gonna be kind of your clear indicator of whether or not you've got the real or fake with that one. I know I won't regret it red. <laughs> so art in hand, I uh, headed back home to lay down the um, flooring that I got from Wisp the night before. Not that this brick kind of flooring was bad, but I really like how this turned out. This is, um, I think it fits in well, especially with the black couch. So I was pretty happy with that. Last part of my video, this is, I guess I, you could say I've saved the best for last. Um, this is footage from Marshall's birthday and I did something a little fun and just a tad bit crazy with Marshall's birthday in that I wanted you guys to get a chance to see both my Northern Hemisphere and my Southern Hemisphere character celebrating a villager birthday together. Um, and so I decided to do it with Marshall's. I kind of should have done it with Anka, but um, I think it was a little bit easier for me to do it with Marshall's. Uh, in this particular instance, I have my Northern Hemisphere that I play on my Switch. And I have my Southern Hemisphere that I play on my Switch Lite. So I'm literally, I have them both up and going at the same time. So both of these characters can be here for Marshall's birthday. And of course, it just makes it the fact that Buzz is there celebrating as well. So gave Marshall the absolute perfect gift. And so my 
Southern Hemisphere character comes in and I hate that you don't get a chance to see her actually give her gift to Marshall but I she brought in a gift for him as well that he absolutely loved and there uh, my other character is just kind of celebrating with Buzz there in the background so she gives her gift and <laughs> makes her exit And I give Marshall my fond farewells. He's such a sweetie. All right. <laughs> Last shot for this video is going to be just a quick look at uh, both my northern and southern hemisphere me there together. And I'll close things out as she rushes back to the airport to fly back down to Serenity. Um, I can't wait to share my Halloween decorations with you guys so you guys can get a chance to see what the island looks like decked out for Halloween. I thank you guys for taking the time out with me and talk to you soon.